Hey, my friends and fishes, welcome back to my channel. If you're here because you are on the hunt for more autism related content, I actually have a bit of a playlist going. I'll make sure to link that up in the cards and in the description box down below. And for today's video, you guys have been requesting that I go over fidget toys and how to use them. So that's what we're gonna do, which leads us right into my quick disclaimer. So the views and information and all the things that I give in my videos are all based on my personal autistic experience and are not necessarily reflective of the entire autistic experience because it is a spectrum. So I do encourage you to do your own research, seek out professional help if you feel like you need it, and of course listen to your gut when it comes to everything I'm about to share. So please take all of this as the anecdotal account that it's meant to be. And with that out of the way, let's dive in. This is my fidget bin! Hello. There's a lot going on in here. And I do recommend having like a dump it zone. So while you're rotating all of your fidget toys, there's like a place, like a home base, if you will. Okay, there's gonna be like sounds and like noises and things. So just, you know, be prepared, okay? So what is a fidget toy? A uh, fidget toy is a toy that you fidget with. You can't make this stuff up, really. And I use these toys to help combat anxiety, sensory dysregulation, boredom, and even to help myself express excitement and joy. And now because I know that somebody is already in my comment section typing out a lengthy response about how this isn't fidgeting, it's stimming, it's... Oh my gosh, why, why, why did you, why? Why? Leave me alone. Like, let me be clear that I do use these two terms kind of interchangeably because it's kind of, it's kind of a package deal for me. Again, just my autistic experience, but you know. I don't know where my script went. So see, I do have a script. Look, isn't it pretty? It's long. It's a long script. So what I'll do, right, is like, I read and then I put it down and then I just cut it all together. It's very sneaky, but it works. So in this fabulous bin, I have, it's it's sort of like hidden underneath this giant thing, but there are so many different fidgets in here. I got a wide variety because when I first started down this journey, I wasn't really sure like what I was gonna like and what I wasn't gonna like and what was gonna work and not work. So I just kind of like got one of everything in the hopes of figuring it out. And of course I have over time and you will too. So I've got fidgets that are great for like visual stimming. This one used to be a lot more colorful. It used to be a lot more blue. This is really old, so it's faded over time. I feel like these ones um, are also kind of a visual. I love this one. I love this one so much. Look at that. Oh yeah. That one's also got like an auditory component, obviously. So visual stims, I really like this one. It also makes a good sound. Then we've got fidgets that make noise and that, so they also have like a tactile kind of component, but also just, <laughs> that one's good. I also have, where's my good slug? Is my snug not in here? <gasps> Where are you? There he is. Okay, this guy, I'm gonna do this further away because last time I did it right next to the camera and it was so loud. So he's got a really good sound. <laughs> And then maybe like the poppets have a little bit of a sound component. Maybe not, maybe not as much. And then there's fidgets that I have that are just purely for like the tactile, like texture, like he's super soft. I love him. He's mad because of how noisy they are outside. I hope it's not picking up too bad, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, like these guys. So they also have sound. They also have a really good, these are actually a kid's, like a baby toy. Like a baby toy? I feel like it looks dangerous to be a kid's toy, but it's, they're just like, it's good. So something I kind of feel like is all of my fidget toys have sort of different energies. This is something that took me a while to notice. Uh, I actually noticed that some of them will hype me up or get me feeling more intense while some will kind of calm me down. So I had, where is my, my child, where are you? My favorite snapper ever of all time. This thing is, I bought two because I was like, if I ever, my hair is gonna be driving me crazy throughout this whole video. So I'm so sorry about that. This, okay, not with this little, dinky little beanie. What's that? Go away. I love this thing more than life itself. This is my favorite snapper in the whole world. Yes, it's a it's a tiny tractor. It's a tiny tractor. It's super cute. 
but I love it so much. And this one is definitely like, I am not doing okay. This is the, actually the kind of energy I have right now with her on the phone out there and then them with the noise over there is that um, it allows me to fidget with it at that same frequency, at that same energy. Energies are definitely part of this and some fidgets are not great for that. So one that's good at calming me down is a tangle. Tangles are great. That's a much more of a low energy, much more relaxed kind of fidget. I'm trying to think of one that's maybe a little bit more over the top. These guys are great, but sometimes they give the bad feelings. I'm not sure what that is. So this is just a marble in one of those finger trap guys. Sometimes this isn't good. Sometimes it's great because it's quiet. And sometimes it does make the feelings bad. Same with these guys, although I do, I do love, I do love these guys for the, I don't do hand flappies. So I, I grab my thumb like this so it doesn't fly out of my hand. And then I'll just, just don't accidentally hit yourself in the face because it is going fast and it'll hurt. So those guys have a little bit more intensity. Um, Slug Friend is also much more of an intense, like I wouldn't use this one to necessarily calm down per se. It's just sort of like working through the feelings. We're going to get into all that in just a second. How long has my shirt been like that? That's going to really like irk me to know that it's been like that this whole time. Okay, so the whole point of this video was how to use fidget toys. Like, great. I have like nine bazillion fidget toys. Like, I've got everything you could possibly ever freaking want or imagine. So like, what do you, how do you actually use them to get the benefits? Like, how do you, what do you, what are we doing? So you have your fidget toy, get your fidget toy, get whatever it is you're fidgeting with. It doesn't have to be the same toy that I'm using. It can be whatever you want. Do you have it? Good. So if it has an intended way to be used, this is an infinity cube and its intended use is this. It, this is how it is going to be used. You're just, you just do that with it. That's what you do with it. Like you can use it in one hand if you're coordinated. I'm not super coordinated. So I'll use it with both hands. Do with the fidget what you're supposed to do. So for example, you have a pop it, start popping it, start popping it, start doing that. You have one of these guys. These guys, it's not a very clear intended use, but you can feel, you can feel the rubberiness of it. You could just stretch it wrap it around your hands to create tension. You could do what I like to do with them, which is that thing, which drives people crazy. Start handling the fidget. Same thing with this guy. So this guy, right, he's got, for me, it's like, I just, I just like to wiggle him, but it's very loud when I do it. So I don't want to do it too loud on here, but you get the idea, hopefully, like you have a stress ball. Start squishing. Can't decide if I like this or not. I can't decide. It's full of those like Orby things. I don't know. I'm, I'm like 50, 50, 50, 50. I don't know. You have one of those dudes. Just start moving it around. Start doing it. Start, just start. I used to feel really dumb. I'd be like, I don't know what you, what do I do with this stupid piece of plastic? I don't know. What do I do? Just start. You know what? Let's just get rid of the carpet because I'm just going to keep bumping it. It's just going to keep happening. So sorry about that. This is one of those haphazard videos where I'm this close to melting down and hopefully I don't actually catch it on film. Um, but this has just been going on for weeks. I'm starting to go crazy, okay? Seriously, sit up straight. How many times do I have to tell you? So I'm going to use this guy because I actually really need this right now. <laughs> to help me deal with that. I could put on headphones too, it would also help, but then it doesn't help me knowing that you guys are still hearing it and the anxiety just continues. Just start doing it. I'm gonna sit back just so it's not too loud. And then while I'm using my fidget, I'm allowing myself to feel what I'm feeling and I'm allowing those feelings to kind of dictate and guide how I use the fidget. So for me, it's, it's gonna be like a speed thing with this. The faster that I go with this, the more I can feel myself release anxiety so it's like, as I'm releasing anxiety, the faster I fidget with this, if that makes sense. I was trying to figure out how I would best word that because it's very much like up here and I'm not very good at articulating how I'm feeling. <laughs> Thank you autism for that, super helpful. I can already feel it helping. It's almost like when you don't have control of your environment and you have control of 
your fidget of a fidget or of something in your hands and it doesn't have to be a toy like I see people using hair ties or I see people using hair clips or pens or whatever it is it doesn't necessarily have to be a fidget toy the fidget toys are nice because they come in lots of colors they're visually appealing they're fun I find that it's a way for me to kind of honor myself I, I get myself these things so I can experiment and I can try and test out and be more myself it's also I loved having toys to fidget with when I was a kid and that wasn't always a thing in school it was like no sit still shut up do your work you're a bother stop disturbing everybody what do you what's in your hands don't be playing with that so now it's kind of like well I have adult money now and I am my own boss come up to me now and say so bro because mm -mm -mm -mm. now that said I won't necessarily use it um, if I'm in close proximity to other people who I know are sound sensitive and I don't want to add to other people's sensory experience if I don't absolutely have to. So I do try to keep, like this is a quiet fidget, right? Like this versus that, right? So do try to be mindful and try to have a couple of options for yourself. So in my bag, I usually keep three different fidgets. So I have one that's sound, one that's quiet, and one like alternate kind of medium fidget so that I am just prepared for whatever situation that I'm in. Now, coming back to fidgeting feeling absolutely stupid when you first start to do it, it feels so dumb. Okay, so I got diagnosed and I was like, okay, fidgets, let's get some fidgets. Like I'd already gotten a few at that point. I was like, okay, let's get some more. Let's go like, let's go ham. Let's like just try a bunch of different things out and see what I like and it's gonna be good. No, I mean like I bought fidgets and they just sat in a box. And then I was like, no, I'm gonna actually force myself to do this because not fidgeting is part of my mask. And I used to do like different things like I count my toes like I wiggle my toes in my shoes constantly or I flex I'm constantly flexing something right or I used to have really long hair and so I would fidget with my hair can you off with the beeping between the beeping and the hammering and the talking and the it's a good thing this is a video on fidgeting because there's no way I would have made it through this without a fidget I should just let myself wear my headphones this is something I struggle with and it's interesting that we're catching it on film I could just put headphones on and for whatever reason I'm having a monstrous struggle right now with that as an idea okay so my sort of biggest tip I guess out of the whole thing is to just start doing it Keep a fidget with you wherever you go. Pick something that like tangles are great. I love tangles, hang on. So tangles are great because they're they're just fun. Like people will be like, oh, that's cool. Like what's that? I buy these for friends too. I think I've bought, I think I've got one for like all of my friends. I think should have one of these by now. I love tangles. They're such a good introductory fidget. Could not recommend more if I tried. Do you have, even have any idea how many of these I have? I have so many. My favorite ones though are the rubbery ones because they're extra quiet and they have good texture. You can chew on them, which I'm sure there's going to be like neurotypical people just like uh, at that. But listen, man, my people will know you can chew on it. And that's nice. You can't go wrong with this. This has got, it's got little, they've got like little dimples on them as well. So you can kind of, if you're a skin picker, you can pick at the little at the little dimples and um, they're easy enough to clean right they're sturdy they last a long time I have a fidget my very first fidget ever was a tangle it was from my grandmother she didn't know she was buying me a fidget toy at the time we were at science world I think it was and um and she bought me a tangle and I was just a kid so they've been around for a while uh, but I I absolutely love them so could not could not recommend a tangle enough. Now I do have links to as many of the things as I possibly could find in the description box down below. So if you're looking for fidgets, my Amazon affiliate shop has some up there as well. It's not going to cost you any more or less to purchase from my Amazon affiliate shop. It does mean that I get a small percentage of the sale, but keep in mind, I only put stuff up there if it's something that I've used um, and I've been able to find it on there so that I can share it with you guys. It's something that I like, something that I found useful. So that's always an option if you'd like to help support the channel. It's greatly appreciated, but it's definitely not mandatory. If you find them local by you and then you can save on shipping, that works for me too. Okay, so now let's just go through through a couple of my favorite fidgets, how I use them, why I like them, and all of that good stuff. So number one on this list, Tangle. 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. I couldn't love my Tangles more, and I have so many of them. I have so many of them. Let's hope to heck I can actually find them all now. There's the fuzzy one. There's the fat one. Oh, I love the chunky one. The chunky one is so good, you guys. It's also rubber. It makes a really satisfying, like, like, I don't even know what you'd call that besides delicious. Okay. Magic wands. This was also one of my first fidgets 
from my grandma. I still have my original tangle. I have it set aside though so that I don't ever break it or lose it or ruin it. I've got slinkies. Got, well, I have a slinky. I do love the slug. The slug is a little bit noisy in terms of like bringing this out with you places, but I do, I do love the slug. The little tractor poppet. I feel like if you don't, I'm trying to think of what these are actually called. I call them poppets, but I've heard other people call them other things. Um, this little tractor one though, I have big hands and he's just the right size for my, for my giant hand. And I, I don't know, there's something about this one. I've had a few of them before. This one is just chef's kiss. Okay, goo tubes are also a lot of fun. I am noticing that it's starting to lose, um, some of the liquid is starting to very sadly kind of disappear, but I do really enjoy, I do really enjoy these. Just this one and this one have started doing that. The other ones that I have haven't really, so I'm not really sure what, what's the deal. Oh, my fidget spinner. So this is another one that has, um, these aren't as satisfying though as the tractor, but I do love a fidget spinner. Oh boy. Oh, I'm a fan. Hang on. How do I usually, there it is. There it is. So, and then it just back and forth. I absolutely love these though. I should keep this out actually. Ooh, I've actually got more. Hang on, there's more. My emergency stash of fidgets. Let's move these all out of the way. Why is nobody talking about this? I don't know why nobody's talking about this. It looks it looks awful. And I forget what it's called now, but I think if you look up like Neato Snow, brace yourselves. I love it so much. I love it so much. When you squeeze it, the stuff on the inside, the powder clumps together and you can feel it for a second on the inside and then you can like squish it just like freaking snow, but it's not cold. <gasps> when I tell you, I use this so much. I love this fidget so, so much. It's so good. Thank you, more sirens. Okay, I also love these little handheld sliders. This is a donut. I love these. These are hard to find though. They're really hard to find. Love them. I also have a Neato Nice Cube, which I mean, I get the hype. I don't, I don't actually know how I feel about it. So this is, this is how I went viral though on uh, TikTok. I had posted a video of this thing and it blew up the internet. This is just a sugar ball. And this is the Neato Nice Cube. And they're basically like filled with the same stuff right? It's the same like general idea. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. Then I also got one of the jelly, the um, gumdrops, and he's full of air already, which kind of bugs me. He wasn't when I got him, but now he's full of air. And I'm not sure why. If there's a hole somewhere, something happened. I kind of like the bubbles a little bit because it makes an interesting sound, but it does kind of bug me because now there's bubbles in it. But I do like the texture of this one. The texture of that one's really, really good. Then of course, I have already mentioned multiple times and you've seen me actually using these fidgets while we've been filming this video. Um, my little bungee, like gummy bungee unicorn, unicorns? Unicorns, unicorns. Um, I love these guys. They're just the right size. I love them. I use them a lot as well. I usually have one in my pocket when I'm out for a walk. So what else do I have? I have so many more. Love these. These are fun because you can actually make like all kinds of crazy shapes with them. So, so for me, this is actually the fidgeting part of it that I enjoy. And I don't feel like I see a lot of people fidget with these this way. I see most people just opening and closing them, but that's the beautiful part. Like as you start to explore how you use fidgets and how you like to use fidgets, you'll find new and crazy wild ways of fidgeting with things, right? Like who knows? Who knows what you're gonna come up with? Get a Rubik's Cube, do yourself a solid, even if it's just so that you can uh, do that. You don't have to solve it. I can solve it. You don't have to solve it. That's also a great sound. Here's one that's a visual stim that I feel like nobody would think of, but I love this. I love looking at this. This is just a random Walmart card, I guess, from like, who even knows? But I am telling you, the rainbow 
it's really good to look at really good to look at i also see people i had to try one of these i don't this is very meh for me could take it or leave it like they're cool and they were well made i bought them off etsy i have two of them there's another one in here somewhere um i i i don't know i get stuck in them and i don't i don't i don't get the good feelings oh gummy bear got a gummy bear He's fun. He's also Nito. Nito came up with a bunch more cool things. I absolutely love it though. These guys, these guys are satisfying. They're full of sand, I guess. Um, and I just, <laughs> just don't go too, don't go too ham because I'm going to ruin them. A Walmart find. Um, what else? Oh, here's another kind of a spinner. And this one, it's not visual for me because it makes me dizzy, but I like the sound. I don't know why. More poppets, another giant infinity cube. This is a fun one. This was off of Etsy. That's just like kind of a look at the insanity that is, um, there's still so many more in here. I do also have fidgets that I use for smelling, but that's like more of a stim. Um, but this Play-Doh, I don't know exactly what it is about the chocolate Play-Doh, smell it all day it's too bad your smelling sense like disappears so quickly but i love it so much so good another tangle wait wait another take wait how many tangles are there weighted uh dice oh this is a metal dice a uh, metal die whatever i uh, love it love 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 how many tangles though let's see one two three four five six seven eight. I have one more uh, in my bin that I actually use for when I leave the house. And then the one that my grandma gave me, that's 10. I've got 10 of these. Look at these. These are so good and they have so many different colors. I'm telling you, if you get one fidget, get a tangle. Freaking love it. Now, obviously, maybe you don't like it. I don't know. It's just my opinion, but I, I don't know a lot of people who don't like tangles. Oh, and then I have a rainbow snapper, which is probably the prettiest thing that you've ever seen. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? I have linked as many things as humanly possible in the description box down below. I hope you found this helpful. Remember to feel your feelings, even if you don't know what those feelings are. You don't necessarily have to name your feelings because goodness knows it's already enough of a struggle. I never know what I'm feeling. Am I angry? Am I happy? Am I sad? Or do I just need to use the bathroom? Like I, who, I got nothing for you. It doesn't also hurt to check those boxes though. Like when was the last time you ate? When was the last time you had something to drink? And when was the last time you used the bathroom? or do you need sleep? That's also a good one. But if you need to fidget, get a fidget toy, practice, because you won't know. Maybe you don't even know you need one, but just give it a go. Grab a tangle, go to the dollar store, just grab a couple of toys. Like it can be anything that you like to fidget with. I would love for you guys to leave comments and talk about what fidgets you've tried, what fidgets you like, what about fidgeting do you struggle with? Like leave, leave your tips and tricks. I love that. That's been the most fun part about posting this kind of content has been seeing you guys give each other ideas and thoughts and, and tips and tricks and things in the comment section down below. I've been learning things too. It's been wonderful. So let's keep that train going. You know, remember that everybody's on their journey and we got to be respectful and kind. And if you are thinking of leaving a comment, why bother? If you didn't like the video, you didn't like the video, thumbs down and move on. <laughs> all good. No harm, no foul. And that's it for me today. So if you did enjoy today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more autism slash mermaid related content slash my life as a small business owner. And um, I look forward to catching you all again in the next video. So happy swimming and happy stimming. Bye-bye. <laughs>